everyone! Welcome back to another video. Today we've parked up a crop still, as we can see. We've got the nice view of the river. We've got the OS map so I can tell you exactly where we're going. And today we're going to be walking to we over there. Coal Stream Wood, which is over that way. So we've crossed the bridge. Let's get on the path. So as you can see, we've cut in. You'll see the sign Public Bridal Way. And you have all these other signs that you can follow. Let's go. Immediately into the walk. Someone's fly tipped. Unbelievable. Right outside the sewage works as well. Right, we're going to continue on. We're going to get a lovely view of the viaduct. Right, we're underneath the viaduct now, as you can see. Not a bad shout for any train spotters kicking about. Get the old binoculars out. Have a look. So we're going to continue on, we're going upstream, but we're not going to follow the river. We're going to veer off to the left into the wood. I'll show you when we get there. As you're walking along, you can veer off to the left, up a height, walk along the top, but you'll get to the end and you get an absolutely fantastic view of the river. But we're not going that way today. We're going to continue on straight. I'll show you where we veer off now. Turn left. We're going up there past the two stones. There we go. We're following the signs. That's going to give you a little indication of where we're going. You'll come to a little green bridge. We're going to cross over that, up the zigzag. It's going to veer off to the left and then slightly to the right. Right, so we're just about to exit Cold Stream Wood. As you can see, we've walked up the path, the track, and now we're going to be going, to be going through the farmer's gate. We're going to be crossing two fields. If you have got dogs with here you might want to put them on the lead as the Cold Street farm does have horses. Over the sty continue on quite muddy but like I said there is horses to the right hand side. Dogs on the lead. Right it'll come to a B road. When you get to the B road you're going to veer off to the left, walk down the B road and then turn right. So as you can see we'll come there We've walked down the road, a veer off to the left, and now we're going to get to the sewage works down this B road at the bottom. On the way down, if you fancy a little detour, what you can do is veer off to the left, and you'll come to Tudde Mill Wood Reserve. Little shop there, what you've got. So this is just a small circular walk that's going to bring you back round to the same path. Yeah, as you can see, this is going to be the exit to that circular walk. So it's it's not that big, but it is a nature reserve. You are going to get some wild animals in there. Get some good snaps, photos. May as well have a look if you come down. So that's the sewage works. We're going to veer off to the left. Continue on this path, and I'll tell you where to go next. When you've walked past the sewage works, you'll then enter Spring Wood. Just continue along the path. You do have options to veer off to the left. You can see there is little paths. You can have a venture out if you want. Just make sure you come back onto this main path because this is what you want. We're going to continue on this. It's got a few bends, but you can't really go wrong with it being such a wide path. You know what, this is the one that you've got to stay on. This will take you all the way down to the River Weir now. So we're going to 
keep going a little bit further down there is a few ways you can get to the river so I'm going to show you the way I normally go lovely and peaceful Just be careful along here, as you can see, it's a bit swampy on the left hand side. If you've got kids with you, keep an eye on them. If you have dogs, you can't judge how deep that is. Think first. You don't want to put yourself in any danger. We're about two mile in now. Bend to the right. We're not too far now from the river we are. Take your time, take everything in, enjoy it. Just be careful when you're going along, it is quite muddy still. Hopefully now we get into the spring it'll dry up a little bit, make it a bit more fun walking along it. We've come down the path now and as you can see behind us we've got the river where you we're going to be heading down there and then we're going to be following it downstream back to the viaduct then back to the bridge back to the car so when you walk around this area I've just noticed the two burnt out cars does anyone know the history behind that what cars they were how long they've been here well burnt out. <coughs> We're going to continue on. Oh, what was that? Just heard something. Can't see out. We're getting to that time again. We get to where I was short. I'll get me milk bottles out. You've not seen no sun in the past six months. I almost felt like putting some Factor 50 on just in case. You never know. <laughs> right, we're on Pebble Island. I think it's called Pebble Island. If anyone can confirm that, that would be nice. Remember last year I uh, brought my daughter down here and we brought our gas stove and burgers. And it was lovely, it was a hell of a day, it was like this, a bit warmer. This is a lovely little park just before you get back into the woods, actually. So we're going to do with the hubs, hubs get and jump. Nice little obstacles on the way. So we just walked along the the river and it, we found this. Does anyone know why this is cordoned off? Is it just for the farmer? Is it for livestock? Yeah, if anyone knows, comment, let us know. We've come away slightly from the river now. We're just continuing on. A few little naughty words on there. Where have I put that in? Naughty. Just along there is the viaduct again. So that's when you know you haven't got that far to go. We're going to continue on following the river down, get the viaduct, and then you'll soon realise where you've been and where you first started off. Away. Have you walked all the way back to the car with one flip flop on? Come on. So what you'll notice is when you follow the river down, you come past a few little obstacles. This little stream leading towards the river. 
and then you'll get to the top of the path and then to the right is where you would have turned into the wood and walk round so we're going to turn left back to the sewage work near Coxdale Bridge and then under the viaduct and then that's where we've parked near the bridge keep going we've done I think it's just over four mile now so what the plan is I was just going to go back to the car but I'm not we're going to head up to the top of the hill top of the tree line and I'm going to show you what's up there. There must be a few people that's walked along here who's never been up there so this is what it looks like. Quite steep bits. Be careful you don't slip. I think someone's made some bike obstacles here. Little ramps and that. I don't think I'll have the balls to get over them. Would you dare go over? I certainly wouldn't. No way. So we've headed towards the right side just so we get more of the walk. As mentioned, we have left the official public path. So now we're heading towards the top. And you'll get an idea what it's like. This is where I'm going to have five minutes. Hell of a view. And I don't know if you've just seen, but... I've just seen some deer, they run that way. So it's gonna have five minutes. Nice and quiet. Nice to see deer around here. It's the first time I've actually seen deer around here. I don't know if anybody else does this, but um, I like cold rice pudding. Just drink it out the can. Always remember to take your rubbish home. So we're at the edge now of um, this walk at the top. We're just going to turn back. Right, we're starting to descend now down. We're just following these um, bike tracks really. Can't believe how steep they are, it's unreal. There's no way I began down there on a the bike, even when I was younger. It's nice to see they've got bird boxes. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Nice. But nice to see more little things like that. So there you go people, if you come up here, you've got some fantastic photo opportunities. Right everyone, I've just seen this. This is absolutely unreal. Look at that drop. Gonna have some skill to do that. Got a good view of the viaduct here as well. Just be careful though, obviously you are right close to the, the tracks. Gonna head down there now, under the viaduct, past the sewage, then home sweet home. Right everyone, as you can see, we're back at the, the Coxdale Bridge now. Lovely views. Look that side. Yeah. Picturesque. Side one. And you've got this side. Right, well if you've liked this video, subscribe and watch some more. See you later.